একত্রিশ মার্চ দুহাজার বারোত সমাপ্ত হওয়া বছরটির এম জি এন রেগার প্রতিবেদন প্রকাশ করেছে ভারতের নিয়ন্ত্রক আর মহা হিসাব পরীক্ষক নিয়ন্ত্রকে মঙ্গলবারে মহাত্মা গান্ধীর রাষ্ট্রীয় গ্রাম্য নিয়োগ নিশ্চিত আসনিত সরকার বিভিন্ন কামর লেখ দাঙি ধরে মহাগাননিক কেলভিন হেরিস খারসিংয়ে দুহাজার সাত বর্ষর পর দুহাজার বারো বর্ষর কালছাদ এম জি এন নেগার অধীনত রাজ্যখানে লাভ করে চারি হাজার এশ বাউন্ন দশমিক পাঁচ চারি কোটি টাকা এই সময়ছাদ রাজ্যের মুঠ তের দশমিক পাঁচ তিন লাখের একুশ দশমিক পাঁচ পাঁচ লাখ পরিয়ালে কাম বিচারিছিল বলে প্রতিবেদন প্রকাশ করা হয়েছে এম জি এন নেগার প্রতিবেদন প্রকাশ করে মহাগাননিক কেলভিন হেরিস খারসিংয়ে কয় ফার্স্ট অফ অল দ্য প্লানিং এসপেক্ট we found that community participation in the planning process through inputs from grassroots level was not ensured so thereby the needs of the weaker sections of the society remained unassessed in our opinion in uh, financial management we found lack of internal controls in receipt accounting and utilization of funds as well as an implementation of works which led to under utilization and parking of funds in banks besides a lack of financial control resulted in non accountable of funds loss due to cut imposed by government of india for inability to utilize the funds in time excess payments and also inadmissible expenditures as far as social services are concerned Although there were improvements in creation of infrastructure, both in health and education sectors, the availability of adequate skilled manpower and specialists to deliver the facilities in health sector was not ensured. So that we thought was an area of concern. Uh, under health, the National Rural Health Mission was launched to provide accessible, affordable and reliable health care facilities. to rural population the requirement of health care infrastructure stipulated facilities and skilled manpower etc were not assessed to make proper planning followed by implementation and thus the aim of providing accessible and affordable health care facilities to the people was yet to be fully achieved in the districts in the district however the improvements were noticed in the areas of institutional deliveries of child immunization uh, immunization of child population and eradication of leprosy under the education sector many schools in the district were not yet provided with basic infrastructure and facilities there was a shortfall in inspection of schools to be carried out by the inspector of schools There was also irrational deployment of teachers in lower primary and upper primary schools in rural and urban areas. The targeted group of SC ST beneficiaries were deprived of scholarships and implementation of midday meal scheme. And the implementation of midday meal scheme failed to achieve its objective since it could not provide the children with meals for the required number of days. However there was a decrease in the dropout level of students and increase in attendance and that's a positive aspect Under water supply and sanitation though there was improvement in coverage of habitations in supply of drinking water during 2007 to 12 supply of safe drinking water to people of the district was not ensured due to inadequate water testing facilities occurrence of water borne diseases in the district was a cause of concern the coverage of the total sanitation campaign scheme in the district in so far as toilets for schools and anganwadi centers were concerned was partial further the four towns in the district had no sewerage facilities and there was no plan to construct the same which indicated that the objective of the scheme to improve the quality of life of people by providing hygienic sanitation facilities remain unachieved under the integrated child development scheme we found that the implementation was partial in the district as only 33 to 133 feeding days per year 
during 2012 could be covered against the norm of 300 days per year. As a result, the improvement of nutritional status and beneficiaries remained a cause of concern. Besides, the Anganwadi centers were lacking in toilet and drinking water facilities. Under irrigation, uh, we found that many irrigation schemes remained inoperative or defunct or incomplete due to paucity of funds. Besides, the schemes were taken up without ascertaining the demand of water and as a result, the created potential was not utilized optimally. In other developmental schemes, the works under DDP, untight funds, MPLADS, MLA, LADS, etc. remained incomplete due to lack of concerted planning and inadequate supervision. As a result, the funds remained unutilized and people were deprived of the intended benefits. The assets created were also not accounted for as asset register was not maintained and future maintenance of the same was also not ensured. Video journalist Susanta Dasroite, Amadip Gogoi, Sentinel News, Guwahati.